Welcome back, everybody, to the extremely plague-ridden adventures of Strategos Gregoras of... Oh, my God, it's one of the guys I didn't even name, damn it. The genius Midas-touched imbecile idiot. Somehow, we've ended up with the worst best character I've ever seen in CK2, a man with extreme luck on his side. And let's hope that luck keeps going. I've seen many, many suggestions for you guys in the comment section, uh, sort of describing... I'm coming up with ideas, basically, for what path we should go down from this guy. Everything ranging from join the Order of St. Basil and, and you know... Work your way up to 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 virtues and, and become a, a very nice character to cancel out all of the sins of your previous life to other people saying Kidnap people and eat them kidnap people and eat them to gain the power of their blood because of course we do have the cannibal kings mod So we can eat people to gain the power of their blood We could try and gain genius to cancel out our otherwise shitty traits What I'm thinking is let's play this guy for a little bit of time. Let's build up the dynasty Let's see what type of character he himself leads Does that make any sense? Let's see what type of character this guy ends up becoming of his own accord a little bit. So, along with along with this sort of usual stuff, I've actually I've actually been working a little bit in the background here, and I've come up with what I think is another pretty good roleplay addition to what we've already got going on. Um, the, the sort of um, the, what what do we call it? The, the sort of childhood education roulette that we were sort of doing manually, I found a way to automate and I've actually sort of optimized it a little bit more as well. I've actually put up a video on the second channel if you guys are interested with, with some of the behind the scenes stuff, although it's a bit out of date now because I found a better way to do it, so don't worry about that too much. If you just want to look at some, you know, basic CK2 modding video, go and have a look over there at that. So that should all be automated, which means we, we have a little bit of extra bonus uh, childhood education stuff. As for this guy, I don't even know where to start because he's He's such a mixed bag of good and terrible. We could go with business focus. We've already got the Midas touch. We could just have this guy rake in a whole bunch of cash because he's apparently the only thing he's good at in life is bringing in at least some money here. What? Oh, no. You know what? Let's go family focus. How many living members of the dynasty are left? Five. Okay. That's frightening. So let's go family focus instead. Let's just get as many babby formed as possible. 20% bonus fertility there. I'll take that one and then I will take just about any woman who has a pulse at this stage. Because um, I can't imagine anybody would actually want to be with this guy. The ignorant, craven, proud... I mean, he's a poet though. What would an ignorant man's poetry sound like? Okay, let's, let's go for... I mean, I, I mean, congenital traits certainly wouldn't hurt, but we'll just take what we can get at this stage because, you know, the whole... You remember the whole plague thing? Remember when that happened? Let's go for, like, um, we'll, we'll try Prodigy, but I very much doubt the irony of spelling Prodigy wrong. Okay, not there. Let's go for Powerful. 16-year-old um, Hunchback. Perfect. Powerful Hunchback. They're, those are those are two words that are frequently found together. Welcome. The Powerful Hunchback and her idiot husband. This is incredible. Uh, do you want to gain 172 gold or 100 prestige? I think we'll take the gold. I think we'll take the gold, because that way we can at least, again, I mean, this guy's skill is bringing in money into the realm, and apparently he's proven that. All he had to do was marry a hunchback woman. There is something different about Leon. As we discuss his travels to the Yuan Empire, he speaks passionately about a pleasure trip made on a beautiful lake and the magnificent landscape of the Empire. Oh, my lord, you must let me go back, he pleads. Who are you? Um, We can keep him here. Oh, he's a good, he's a good, he's our steward, he's a good steward. Ah, uh, keep him here. I'd rather trade the 200 grace to keep him around, because it's going to be very difficult for this guy to attract more people to his court, given that, um, he's a, he's a little bit stupid. I don't know if you've noticed. Okay, we'll roll with that for the timing. So, how much grace have we got with China? Nothing. I mean, nothing worth, nothing worth talking about. We could, oh, he likes Byzantine cultures. I'm a Byzantine culture. Um, who's this guy? My mystic, oh, send him off. 870 points? Why? He likes brawny, he likes gr groomed, he has high intrigue, high stewardship, high martial. Um, likes Byzantine cultures. Excellent. Ship him off. Absolutely ship him off. Look at that. 878 grace for a single dude is, is utterly nuts. Does the same thing apply to commanders? So if we send him a Byzantine commander, would that also fulfill that? So it might be worth us saying, hey, let's uh, promote commander. 65 gold. This guy's turned up to court. He's not a bad commander at all. He's not fantastic, but we'll, tr we'll, we'll try it. Um, yeah, like business culture, 750 grace. Wow. Okay, we need to take advantage of this as much as possible because this is absolutely nuts. As he likes Byzantine cultures, should we also go to China? I mean, there's our guy probably like package himself in a box and actually sending himself off permanently. Idiot. Okay, let's, let's go to China as well. I'm, I don't know if that actually does affect... The uh, the sort of events that you have in the Imperial Court, you know, where you have to impress the priests and, and do a little dance and, and play a Chinese game, whatever it was. Let's go for it. Let, let, let's head over there and actually see what we can get out of this. And along with that, obviously, we get a ridiculous amount of boost now. That's an insane amount of favor. 
What? That wasn't me. Hang on. What I was actually gasping about was not the 27-year-old man burning to death, but in fact, we're down to the one-day modifier. Were we down to the one-day modifier yesterday? I don't remember. The point is, it's fantastic. Um, let's go for, like, Castle Town. Get some money out of things here. Let's go for... Oh, right new size. I'll absolutely take that. Thank you. Cataphracts. Yes. Okay, give me those. Oh. Hello. Ah, oh, fellow travelers, the military man exclaims, emerging alongside a group of soldiers from trees. So, hippies. Hippies, you have been confused with someone. Excuse me, Greenpeace, not today. Right, what are we after then? More cataphracts, if you don't mind. That would be absolutely fine. My young wife has taken a passion for romantic poetry. You're in luck. This is how he won her over. The imbecile man who is skilled with only coin and words. Arguably not that much of an imbecile then, in hindsight. Won her over with his lustful and proud poems. And she hobbled over and picked him up with a powerful grip. Picked him up with one hand and they... And they, uh, they, they, they spent the night together in, 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 uh, what, I don't even want to imagine that, my god. Uh, there's just everything wrong with that. Everything wrong with that thought. That's not even entertain it. Move on. Go to China. Are we at China yet? Oh, oh no. For fuck's sake, what? I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Ash, 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 my man, my friend. Well, what's his name? This guy. I'm having drinks with this guy. And what I'm most charmed by is, is himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly become to touch upon almost heretical ideas? Heretical ideas, you say? Why, well, our craven, proud, wrathful, lustful, arbitrary man, I feel, would be very much up for knowing why God made us so curious. Why did God curse him with such stupidity? I mean, he probably wouldn't be fairly curious about that, would he? But hey... Uh, thank you, my friend. It's probably just winning us over with, with any sort of promises. You join me. You join me. You get magic powers. Now, guys, I just, like, drool in. Heads on the table. I'll keep it hidden. Thank you, Ashraf. I appreciate that. What if I told you that all you've been taught to believe in is a lie? It's been taught nothing, so that's probably feasible. You're truly a witch, then. Can you do something about my rival? Rivals with... Sicily and... A ten-year-old girl. Intellectual rival, I see. Incredible stuff. You're truly a witch, then. Can you do something about my rival? Can you kill this ten-year-old girl for me? Don't say that too loud. My window's open. We might. If you offer yourself up to Iblis, you'll be granted the powers that God has kept from us humans. Finger in the leather pouch in my pocket. Oh, makes a change from the hunchback. If there's any chance it'll do something about my rival, I will. This man has just sold his soul to Satan so he can get revenge on a ten-year-old girl. <clears throat> We know the type. We knew the type of character we'd be playing. Let's be honest. It's been some time since Ashraf was in contact with me. I've been mulling over his words. God told Adam we would die if he ate the forbidden fruit. God lied. The priest in church lie. That's that's absolutely great reasoning. The lies are meant to hold us back, or we can become a greedy man. I mean, he's Midas touched, and lustful. I would argue both of those have elements of greed to them. Fuck it. I'm I'm up for that. I want it all, and I want it now. I've grained the greedy trait, except he didn't even at all. Oh, okay, there it is. Took a while. Rider approached from the caravan and handed me a letter with the seal of Shah Dokt Sayinyukta of Nepal. She's heard of my travels and wants to invite our party for rest for a while in the warm castle of Tapuljung. Um, a warm bed and a hot meal is most welcome. Or we gain content and shy. No, no, my, na my man is proud. He's too far too proud to, to stay in a tent overnight. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning from the other side of the planet. Of course, a bargain must be struck. We're going to bandage our arm. Our wrathful man is going to is gonna carve the symbol into himself in the hopes that it... Who, who are you? Some distant relative. Uh, my aunt's... Oh, right, I married her off, right, to try and propagate the dynasty. Oh, my God, all five living members of the dynasty are our aunt and her kids. Oh, shit. Well, that could be a problem if we ever inherit any Agnatic titles, huh? Okay. Petronia. So, who have we got? We've got Cyclops. We've got Griffin. We've got Argus. Um, I mean, I wasn't going to go for a random name, but Harpy works fine. Absolutely. Welcome aboard, Harpy. So, these kids, it, it, the, the the thing I was talking about earlier, the, the sort of mini-mod I've thrown together that, that determines the what, what how you can educate your kids, that only affects your children. So, children who could... Oh, well, children that you are a parent of. Because otherwise... You know, you, you could be deciding random courtiers' kids' education. It could block you out of educating your own kids. I didn't think that was fair. Um, so what we'll do then is we'll just pick, I guess, the best things for these kids. We're never going to end up playing as them anyway, so it's kind of irrelevant. A young artist is working on what clearly is divinely inspired icon, depicting John the Baptist. Ah, of course. Yep, with our bandaged arm. No, we are... I mean, look at us. We're greedy and... No, we're not going to do that. This we cannot afford. Who cares about piety at this stage? Brother Gregorus. 
Is it Gregorus or Gregorus? We have received word for your dedication and desire to join the True Legion. Await the messenger. Let the Dark Winds guide you. The messenger is going to have a hell of a long trek, my friend. We've, re we've met an intriguingly and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Apparently, this Zaynab is a foreign diplomat. Gage and Conver I wonder what this could be about with its extremely creepy background that they've used in every single event so far. Ah, oh, a smile turns into a predatory grin as she can see. Is she a hunchback too? I feel like everyone's taking advantage of our poor, creepy little man. I like the sound of that. Absolutely fine. Thank you. You wake up... Um, he's got to take what he can get. When I wake up next to the cloak figures are gone and Zainab is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own Strator Strategos Gregorus, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I'll look back on this moment. This was a necessary evil, or I wish you had found me sooner. Um... Our lustful man is, again, probably struggling. Is that an attraction opinion negative? Almost certainly, right? No. Probably should be. That's a bit worrying. Fine. I, I suppose in medieval times, they wouldn't really give a shit how smart their husband was. If, they, if he was a lord, he was a lord, right? Wish you'd found me sooner. And now, we have a fancy cloak. And we are one step closer. Wow, that was good timing. One step closer to yet another part of Greece. Very expensive, but hey. Okay, so that's that one down. What do we've got right now? Do we have claims on Athens? I feel like we do, don't we? Um, we've got claim on Athens, right? Ab absolutely true. And that one. So those are both owned by the same person, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Okay, so let's get a claim on this one next. Um, what's the chance yearly at? 15%. Can we sack you in favor of literally anyone else? Again, it's going to be unlikely that anyone's going to want to join our court because our diplomacy is low, but we'll, we'll, we'll absolutely give it a go here. Um, oh, wow. Benoit, you'll do. Wow, he's incredibly good. Holy shit, invite him to court. Wow. I'm uh, genuinely a little bit blown away that anybody wants to join the cellar. All right. Um, he's, he's a little pissed off. He, he came to us grudgingly. He probably had pity on us. Right. So you start fabricating claims on that one. So we could go to war immediately for these two provinces. Um, she's away somewhere on Kowtow. We could fight in China. Fist fight. Um, 2,650 troops versus our mighty 5,000. Yeah, let's just go to war. And who's the Basilius right now? He's in hiding, so he probably won't get too involved. Fuck it. Uh, declare war? Can't, because we are bankrupt. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would be because we're in China or something. Ah, a caravan has been camped by the roadside the whole day. The sky's been pouring over us with an unusually heavy rain. The whole situation has brought thoughts to the memories of my late father, Carabdus. A great man. A great man compared to you who was taken early. Shrewd, elusive shadow. He was an intrigue mastermind. I mean, the, the whole plague and its communication and d depressed. You guys pointed out he was probably a Catholic, which I didn't even consider. I was, I was thinking just the traditional societies, you know, um, again, devil worshippers, society, assassins, potentially. But I never considered a, a secret Catholic society might be possible. What's our moral authority of Orthodox right now? 89? I mean, it's... I don't know how likely that is in hindsight, because 89 moral authority is quite... I will compare it to Catholicism in a second. Um... I'd be interested to know. I might even check the save game just tracking down. Oh, God. Francia is massive. How has this happened? Let's not worry about it. I'm sure it's not important. Try it. Try it. It's not even remotely random. Um, bring me bring me my ledger. What what are we looking for? It's like page... Oh, there it is. I uh, went way past it. Authority. Oh, no. Maybe it is Catholicism. Now, man, they are doing really, really well for themselves. Not much of a surprise considering this whole thing. That was bloody quick. My God, I don't know if I can afford this. Um... Shit, maybe we just want to let it go. What's his chance of fabricating claims yearly, exactly? 33.7%. I mean, that's fine. Once every three years. I'm going to let it go. I don't, I don't think it's worth it. In, in the meantime, we could just declare war for these two, and then... Oh, shit. Did they just split? Oh, you fucker. You just got that... Yep, that's really annoying. Okay. Um, And then she lost that title. Yep, okay. She absolutely did. Council saying no anyway. We need to be home before we can actually declare war. Okay, never mind then. We should have probably taken that claim. It just occurs to me the stupidity of sending an absolutely ignorant backwards man to go and try and impress the Chinese emperor. The high priest started the ceremony right as I get inside the tower's temple. The disciple enters the meditation. The disciples enter a meditation to bring themselves in harmony with the cosmos. Studies their rituals from a distance and gain sympathy for Eastern religions. Join in, gain content, and it might reflect well us in the eyes of the Emperor. And we're Byzantine, so I'm just going to go all in on the Emperor bootlicking right now, I think. Um, we've already got content anyway, and we don't really care about our religion, so who cares? Let's see if it will reflect well on us in the eyes of the Emperor. Fuck's sake. <laughs> and now our wife is also embezzling from us. She's got 135 gold, and conveniently enough, money just went missing from the treasury. Yeah, that's unreal. Did she... Are you telling me that she didn't marry us for our mighty intellect, but she might have actually married the Midas Touch greedy man for his money? And she's also pregnant, despite the fact we've been away from court for, I mean, a year? At least. I'm not saying I'm suspicious, but the lustful, powerful woman 
which gives a more attraction opinion, is pregnant or we've been away for ages. Um, seems a little suspect. I'm out on a walk in a beautiful park in the Middle Kingdom and I spot a group of people intensely focused, gather around a square board with circular pieces of black and white. How do you play this game? You would never understand. Not a chance in hell that this is going to impress the Emperor. Shit's all over the board. It is good tradition to have gossips around a pregnant woman. Um, around a pregnant woman. Good work. I'm role playing the character. I definitely didn't misspeak. She needs, uh, she doesn't need old women filling her head with nonsense. Have some maids dispatch. I'm suspicious of her. We're greedy. Fuck her. Who cares about our piety as well? More to the point. We've had Babby formed. Carabdis Papia. Okay. Um, we're now into the money pincher. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's more appropriate for our wife, I think, in this situation. Hunchback. Well, he's definitely... <laughs> what have I done? Definitely the wife's kid. I don't know if that is... He's got our bloodline. I don't know that that is our kid. All right, fine. Carabdis, in honor of our father. Naturally, our mother is in prison. Uh... Who? Who buy? We can't even offer to ransom her out or anything. Okay, never mind then. My core physician is worried about my newborn son. Travis is a feeble little thing. Um, yeah, he is. And he's got a hunchback. Is that also a... It's not a health malice, which doesn't really make too much sense. Because I think it actually probably would be. Okay. Minus 2.5. I, I mean, we are in Sparta. I'm thinking we go for a Spartan strategy here. Ruffle. Greedy. Greedy. Would he pay a court physician to care about this fucking deformed, mangled, sickly kid? Nah. Only the strong survive. If he were to die, wouldn't be too upset. Oh, look at that. The chief minister opens the door to the throne and nodding for me to enter after I performed a deep bow sigh of subservience to the emperor. He reached out and touched my forehead. I'm honored. We actually nailed it. I've, that's the first time in a very, very long time I feel like we've nailed the kowtow event. Wow, okay. 100 grace with Yuan Empire. We gain the best trait, giving plus four monthly grace is obviously incredible. There we go, and we're home. I, th I, th I imagine the whole Byzantine thing probably did play into that a little bit. Right, you want a, an artifact seed engineer, strategist, or master engineer? We've already got the Scholar Bureaucrat. Let's get a master engineer to go along with it and really, really get this province buffed up. Now, along the same sort of vein, because we're making a good amount of money anyway, let's oh, we can make our Scholar Bureaucrat also oversee construction, which is quite nice. I'm going to name him Trade Master if we can. Oh, have we already got a Trade Master? Oh, we can't name him Trade Master. Right. Oh, but she's better anyway. Now, I'm going to say to her, let's focus on investing. So, between her, the Scholar Bureaucrat, or the Master Engineer. No, between her and the Master Engineer, and our own building up here, with, obviously, the Scholar Bureaucrat overseeing construction, this is going to be a massive bonus to our capital. This is going to be insanely good. We're, we are paying a massive target on the back for raiders and whatever else, but I think this could be... Uh, this could be very, very beneficial. I mean, look at that. The money already popped up there immediately, probably because we came home from our regency. Right, designate a new regent, then. You're all a bit shit, I'm going to be honest. I'll go for this guy because he's got... Oh, no. Who do I want? Someone with high stewardship. Sure, my trade master could be court physician. I'll, I'll trust her in this scenario. My son, Karabdis, was not meant for this world. Today, he quietly drew his last breath. He's with God now. He's with God. And honestly, that's probably the best thing for it. I, think, I don't even think God would want him. Send him back. <laughs> you want me to be... <laughs> How desperate are you? To the great strategist, Grigoris. Peace be with you. I would like to offer you the seat of Marshall, the imbecile, Midas-touched man with absolutely no redeemable features, and five Marshall. Oh my god, Midas Touch gives two Marshall. I had actually no idea. Okay. Why not? Just for just because it's a seat on the council, I'll absolutely take it. Oh. Well, that's answered our question, I think. As I returned to my chambers, I was shocked to find a copy of the Bible of the Catholic faith on my bed. At first, I thought someone had left it there with the intention to frame me, but I noticed a little note on the top of the tome. I think you'll find this interesting. Please give it a read. Signed, a friend. How vague. Intriguing. I guess a little read cannot hurt. You start reading the Catholic, the Bible. <laughs> Close enough. Never. I shall hide it when no one will find it. Um, I mean, we wouldn't read it anyway because we're part of the Satanic Guild. So even if we were interested in Catholicism, I feel like that ship has sailed. Never. I shall hide it when no one will find it. Try and get paranoid. We actually did get paranoid. Is this the descent? I say this to, is this the descent as if he wasn't born already completely fucked in the head and then was, you know, developed arbitrary and proud and wrath and lustful at a young age. Do you get to vote on the Byzantine Empire now, which is quite nice. Um, that's a that's a bold strategy, Cotton. My God, if this if this works, um, I quit. I quit CK2 officially. No, of all the characters, I don't want to be immortal. This guy. Top of the fucking list. What? 18 years of age? I... You've won. You win. You win, Paradox. You win. 
And whenever I think I've seen it all, it's every fucking campaign. I did a fresh reinstall of CK2 like two days ago as well, by the way. So it definitely wasn't some lingering fucking change or some weird checksum or some dodgy installation. Fuck it. Is there like a mod that we play that like, like Flogie's Techman has a higher chance of matters of life or death or something? Because this is unreal. With age comes wisdom, they say. Or at least it may change the questions we ask, you mutter. We never say that. What are you actually... With age come wisdom, they say. You mutter to yourself. You've had trouble sleeping lately. Most likely because of... Ugh, I mean... Fuck it. Summon the council. All right. Okay. Let's give him a shot. Let's give him a shot. You know what? This man might redeem himself. Imagine. Okay. 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 We become immortal. We kidnap a genius man. We eat and we gain genius. We kidnap a strong man. We eat and we become strong. We kidnap a, 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 a fair man, an attractive man. We eat him. We become strong. We eat a load of bloodlines. We turn through the power of Satan and dark magic and immortality. We turn this man from the most cursed idiot imbecile, the final hope for the dynasty, into a demigod. That's a hell of a redemption art right there. And I think the game is really throwing us... I, I mean... I don't know that I want this guy to be immortal, but, I mean, we'll give it a go. I don't think we'll even remotely succeed because his stats are so fucking low. But, hey, let's, let's give it a go. With my friend, I'll find the poison and put a stop to this. Oh, someone's trying to kill us? I, I mean, I doubt it, but... Fabricate a claim. Fabricate a claim. We'll also stop plots, but I'm not going to go much further beyond that. I'll, with my friend, I'll put a stop to this. Meeting of the minds. There we go. Your council convenes and face the advisors... Uh, in the face of your eyes, to speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down, the suspense almost tangible, as you leave you, the question hanging in the air. Finally, you speak without disclosing much of your current lightning restlessness. You convey the message eloquently enough. <coughs> they nod slowly. <coughs> the spirit rises in the room as your chancellors start to talk. Some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They all have ideas. Maybe you guys could... Oh my god, because we are that stupid, we have to just leave them up to it. Oh, what happened to our wife? Okay, let's not worry about that. She's just, she's just covered in blood. Oh, she's part of a, she's part of a society. What? She's dueling. Why is she dueling? Who's she fighting? Is it because she's powerful? I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. Okay, I have no idea what happens at this stage if we let the council decide. So this is going to be a whole new, this is going to be a whole new immortal experience. But I thought it could never happen on this channel. Ah, that explains why she's covered in blood. She's pregnant. And with these two, God knows if they know what goes in where anywhere ever. Okay, let's see if we end up becoming immortal then, God forbid. Um, you wanted me to vote with you on the favorite... <laughs> Are you sure you want that? That seems like a dangerous play. Fine, you know what? We'll go for it. Any any vassals that want to offer us favor, I'll take it. Should we go to war now? I think it's time we go to war. Let's push these claims before something terrible happens. So does your claim on... Oh, right. What do we get the most out of this? That's 100 prestige. That's 100 prestige. That one will give us 100 prestige. What do we lose? So if we declare war, we lose 200 prestige for the jour claim. Um... Wait, really? You lose 200 plus prestige pressing a jour claim? Okay, weird. I guess we'll just go for... Just go for the regular claim then? Why not? So this guy's got 3,400 men. I think this one's probably in the bag straight off the bat. All right, let's go, team. Let's, let's, let's try and... Oh, never mind. Who lives forever anyway? You ask several... It's just like that song by Queen. You know, the one that goes, who lives forever anyway? You ask several people in your court, even wait for a long time for some of them to get back to you, but none of them have heard of a method to avoid the whole mess of dying. You reckon it's a lot like sleeping, though. You probably shouldn't worry about it. Wonder what's for dinner tonight. You take a nap. Wow. Okay. See, now I've gone from... Maybe we don't want to be immortal. That was, a, that was a journey. That was an emotional journey I went on there. I went from, I don't want to be immortal, this guy sucks, to let's become immortal and redeem this guy, to fuck this game. They literally gave us that event for no reason other than to insult us. You take a nap. Fucking take a nap on these fucking cheeks when they get clap paradox. You, I don't even know what that means, but let's just, let's just go to war. Let's just try and, you know what? That was way too ambitious. Let's become king of Greece, which we're basically already there in it. Even this guy could not possibly fuck up becoming the king of Greece. Have a new heir. We will play as Damiane. D D Dami Damiane. D oh. Powerful. Powerful. Extremely mighty. Um, right. So none of these are off limits then. Um, 
Shit, I don't even know what to do with you then. Should we just go like a really super powerful 25 person to come at 3 martial 2 diplomacy at the edge of Abbey? Let's go for let's go for struggle. So what that means then is we can now not pick another character with struggle. I don't know if it'll say that if we hover over it. Um No, not yet, but but give it some time. You have a new air, blah blah blah. Thank you. Okay. Um what are we gonna call you then? A powerful A powerful Greek mythological creature. Minotaur. Minotaur is a great one. Minotaur, our daughter. Wonderful. Excellent work. Uh, so now if we check it, it should say... There you go. So we can't choose that again because, as it says there, childhood focus not already chosen. I've got a more optimal event. I've actually only got it set for the Game of Thrones one right now. I just remember to port over to this. That literally just compares it to their siblings instead. So it's a bit more it's a bit more straightforward. Doesn't require maintenance events or anything like that. Oh, God. Well, we actually might fuck up becoming the King of Greece because they are moving in a lot of troops. Oh, shit. Ah, for fuck's sake. Okay. Um... Put them down. We're going to lose it. Actually, we didn't lose any troops. So that's fine. Okay, never mind then. Right, bring them together. That seems a little bit unfair that we can just disappear all of our men very quickly. We're going to have to hire some mercenaries. And what we'll do is we'll hire these mercenaries, keep them hired while we go to war with the other person for the other province as well. Right, that gives us 5,700 men. Is that enough to match them? Yeah, just about. We should be fine. All right, now that is probably almost certainly going to be a uh, river crossing, straight crossing. You want funds. Can't afford it. Sorry, nothing for you today. Pause. Okay, merge together. Let's count siege uh, Thebes, Thebes that apparently they took from us. Our commanders are garbage. Have we got any slightly better commanders here? Because this is really not instilling me with confidence. Yeah, we do. What the hell is this auto assignment you're doing for me, game? Good lord. Master Engineer, welcome aboard. Don't really like him being on the front lines, but... I mean, we're, I mean, we're a little desperate here. We are, we are completely desperate. Sold that down. Yeah, I think we can afford to do that. Right, and then maybe take him out. We should wait for them to drop a... Oh, no, they're not going to drop a garrison, though, because it's their territory. Just fight them. We're not taking a straight cross. We're not taking a river crossing. Well, I imagine... Yeah, we've got superior commanders. Um, both our flanks and the center are stronger. Troop composition, they've got a lot of... What are those special units? Are those cataphracts? Horse archers. they got a lot of horse archers. Oh, God. Okay, I thought the difficulty was going to screw us there, but I think we're okay. Difficulty beyond just being a drool and imbecile, that is. Yifu was captured in battle. Thank you. Welcome to my court. You are absolutely going to get the shit ransom out of you. Um, oh, that event's disappeared. That event's disappeared. Hey, you remember that event? What the fuck was causing that then is my next question. What was causing that? You know the event that was like, oh, you've defeated these guys in army. Quick, uh, take them all prisoner, ransom them off or whatever. That, I, I made no changes to that event personally. So, what did we have as our second character that would cause that? Nothing, as far as I can tell. I have no... Maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's... If you're a count? That could be a, an interesting way to balance count mechanics. I have no clue. I honestly have no idea. If anybody knows what mod was causing that, feel free to let me know, because I'll be, I'll be kind of interested. And with that, we're done. Thank you very much. So how far are we off of being able to form the mighty kingdom of Greece? We need... Two more provinces. Okay, so we've got claims on, on one of them, at least. And then this one, we were fabricating claims on, but I stopped for some reason... Oh, no, we're still, we're still there. I just couldn't see him. Um, oh, absolutely. You can, you can be on the council. He's also a very angry vassal. Why? Besides the, the Duchy of Colonia, you're not getting that. Oh, he's also ambitious. Right, okay, that explains a lot. So let's drop our armies then for the time being. Let's go for you next. Also, your capital. That's some. Oh, my gosh, he's in Crimea. Shit, that's annoying. Okay, we might have to get some, uh, we might have to get some boats going for this one. Wait, do we have a claim on that? The hell do we have a claim on? Oh, Athens, Athens, Athens. Right, right, right. Okay, that explains a lot. Okay, declare war. Claim Athens. That will make us not lose any prestige. That's good. Does your claim obviously lose 250? She's excommunicated, so we can just declare war and what exactly? Uh, she just abdicates. Okay, that's pointless. Then we've got a jour claim. Okay, so that's basically the same. Let's just claim it then. Fuck it. Push the claim. This should, we lose. We gain 100 prestige. She loses 100 prestige. We've got this in the bag too. 2,900 men. Yeah, I think this would be easy. Oh, no. They're calling us in. Our first dark deeds. Satan's favours, Abjura Gregoros. Your opportunity to strike at the foolish followers of the false gods have presented itself. Well, that's some good alliteration right there. The priests in the Arca are ignorant of the true state of the world. Tear down their idols and steal their wealth in the name of Shetan. Glory to the deceiver, sign high, proof, high priest Mencia. Okay. Um, that's the society what you get into if you're smart, right? Let's do it. <laughs> which, which is quite ironic for our guy. Okay. Um, we are looking for... This great temple of Arca, all the way over the other side of the planet. Oh my god, is that ours? We had troops there, which was what making me think, okay, maybe that is ours. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Oh my god, it actually is, though. 
Okay. I was going to say, I thought it could only target your own your, your own uh, domain as well. Sure. Um, so how do we do that again? We just right-click Desecrate Temple. Here we go. Boom. Let's do it, team. My preparations and plans have been made. A servant has been bribed to leave the side door open in the Temple of Arca. Now, what happens if we're stupid and we try and do this? Is there a possibility of failing these events? Because I don't think I've ever seen it before. Um, kill them. Avoid them. Kill them. Just kill them fucking dead. Steal the gold or burn it all. Um, I, I mean, we are a greedy man, so we'll take the gold. Gain 200 dark power. And we've desecrated the temple. Orthodox to lose a little bit more moral authority. And we're immediately corrupted by dark magic. Are you shitting me? Well done, Paradox. Incredible balance. We're now down to zero learning. One diplomacy. We did one fucking mission. Are you joking? Well, there's already the claim, at least, so I guess. Fuck me. That's so... They've made it... That, like I said, they've nerfed the Satan Society so far into the ground, it's not even worth playing anymore. Oh, that's a lot of troops. Oh, my God. They've got allies? Wait. Who are you? Did you call in allies? They, they called in allies? Yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. That's my fault. My bad. Um, yeah, I don't think we can win this now. Okay, um, we could take out some loans. I think we did pay off the last fight. Oh, become a money lender. Fuck it, why not? Um, owes money lenders a debt. If we take that out, local bill cost goes up. I don't think we have a choice but to hire some mercenaries, at least. Now, how much can we afford? Realistically, I don't want to spend more than that gives us 5,250 men. That gives us 4,600. I'm looking at the monthly cost more than anything. These guys are fairly cheap for what we get. All right, um, retreat. Retreat, cut your losses, see if we can get a few survivors here. Thank you very much, we inherited something. Okay, those guys are retreating, they're going to merge together. Okay, 30 gold in exchange for whatever that is, fine. We're going to have to be a bit more careful this time then. I can't just I can't just roll this one down like we did with the last one. We're going to have to sort of uh, try and roll them over straight crossings, things like that. And in fact, if they're splitting their army up like this, it's going to make my life very, very easy. Okay, um, this could be a trap. Yeah, they're bringing them back down again. Ah, a nobleman by the name of Guo came to court today. I'm assuming that's how that's pronounced. Seeking asylum. He claims to escape from China after the rest of his family were executed. Of course, you're welcome to stay. This is the event that gives us the dragon amulet, which will be massive. Oh, God, they've got a lot of troops. Fuck. Um, we can hire a few more, I guess. In mean, the monthly... I mean, what does that give us? Okay, let's swap you over to collect taxes. We might just be able to break even. Right. That only just gives us enough troops to break even them as well. Stop bothering me. I'll give them money when, I, when, I, when we have enough to spare. We breaking even? Not even close. Wife's Pragana again. Holy shit. Wow, that's costing us a fortune. 9,600 men. Oh, God. Picked a, I picked a bad fight here. I picked a really bad fight. 50 military tech points. Thank you very much. That will come in slightly handy. Um, should borrow some more. Whoa, 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 whoa. 10 out of 5? Let's borrow another loan. I'm going to do it. I hate it because we're almost at... Um, what are we at now? So then we're actually at huge debt. The next one is the astronomic debt. You can't get any higher than that. General opinion minus 10. Month prestige minus 1. Build cost plus 20%. Lose prestige as well. I don't want to get that to that level. But we're so close to forming Greece. I think it's also worth really just pushing it as far as we can here. Gives us 10,000 men. God, they still fucking outnumber us. God damn. Okay. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. Because the worst case scenario, we just keep these troops raised. Then we go and knock down the rest of it, huh? Right, do it. We've only got a few months. Silk Shroud. Oh, thank you. Okay, it wasn't... I wanted the Dragon Amulet. Oh, we've already got the Dragon Amulet. Get that shit equipped. Silk Shroud gives Intrigue plus one. Or we can wear the Dragon World Quote Cloak that gives personal combat. We use the Shroud. The Shroud, for the time being, definitely has a lot more use, I think. Right, this is going to be a hell of a battle. Okay, we need to we need to absolutely kill off some of these mercenaries. So I'm just going to charge them down the second we hit maximum morale here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Excellent. What's our monthly balance? Big danger. Oh, they're coming after us. We've got to pray now that their commanders are shitty because there's nothing else I can do. Come on. Come on. Their commanders are good. Well, yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked. We've lost this. We've lost this. Um, maze dispatched. Nope, you don't get anything. We've, we won. <laughs> we won? Oh, you fools. Okay. Greece is ever closer. Not only did we win, but we kept a lot of survivors. Can we just assault this down now? We can. And honestly, I'm going to assault it down because these mercenaries cost me a bloody fortune. Um, right, so... Oh, right, right. We can't win the war because they've got this siege. Demon the Aegean Lions. Oh, thank you. And we've got a daughter called... Your... Euphrosine. Euphrosine, I think is how you say that. Um, I am completely out of names here. It's got to be something else I can think of. Um, it's got to be something else in Greek mythology I haven't come up with off the top of my head yet. 
Ah. Uh... Nope, can't think of any. I'm going to name off the random ancestor just because we are so entrenched in war right now and it, we're literally up against the clock. I don't want to I don't want to take my eyes off of it, go and Google some names, try and find a good name for any more than a second to act as a distraction. So we now, like I said, can't pick Struggle for our daughter because we've already picked it for someone else. Um, or we already picked it for our other daughter. I don't know why I made that sound so coy. Now this will also check kids what are dead. So if this kid dies or if we'd have educated this kid, we would be locked out of yet another... In fact, we're probably... Oh, no, we're not actually locked out of that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, do we want to educate her? That's another thing we've got to consider now. This is a new gameplay mechanic I never actually considered. Do we want to educate her? She's sickly. She's got no traits. Let's see if she comes out healthy first before we waste a potentially necessary, necessary education trait on her. All right, here we go. 80%. Oh, come on. Fuck. Round piece. You absolute bitch. Okay, how long until that kicks in? Three months. Is that going to be time to... Oh, okay, we're just going to have to assault this down and just pray. I have to pray that's enough war score. It might just be enough war score. Come on. <gasps> it absolutely fucking is. Wow, that was close. Holy shit, I'm so glad we hired all those mercenaries in hindsight. There's no way we'd have been able to do that without them. How close are we to Greece? So what do we own now, personally? Oh, that's looking quite nice. Oh, that's looking very nice. Wait, what's all this shit? We don't know all this shit. Oh, it's just a very, very similar color, I see. Wow, 11 out of 5. We desperately need to give away some titles, but holy shit. That is some, uh, that is some good stuff right there. That is some really, really good stuff right there. So, we are just one province away from Greece now, right? Yep. 7 out of 15. We control 46%. One more will take us, obviously, over that 51% threshold. This is good. Thank you all for watching. I've got a lot of titles to, uh, to dish out, haven't I? What the hell happened to that one by, like, a fever drink? To be fair, I haven't slept since I recorded yesterday's episode. So, maybe that's, maybe that's why everything seems like a fever dream. Because, because I'm tired. <laughs> God, send help. Thank you to those who have sent help. And you know who those people are? That's right, it's the insane top tier level patrons making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoffland, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Donlin, Doolin of Gondolin, Facunda Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogolus, Sarik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Keontae Boyd, Michael Mullen, My Name Isn't Dio, Muskratful, Natbuskus911, Necrofin, and Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Smegma Stain, Somnus, The Forsaken One, T-Bag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Backers, Backers, William Green, and Zazzy1711, for their support for the Insane Tale on Patreon. Thank you guys all for going above and beyond anything I would ever expect anyone to back over on Patreon, and thank you guys for all... I mean, all coming out of the woodwork, like, very suddenly a lot of you guys have turned up, so it's very much appreciated. Thanks to everyone. We are very close to actually that, uh, to, to that $1,000 a month on Patreon, so that would be, uh, that's, uh, it's pretty overwhelming. I never expected to get that far. Obviously, we set the, we set the goal quite low just to, just so the channel will at least break even, but that was, um, and it's actually, it's actually doing pretty well. I appreciate that a lot. And of course, uh, uh, obviously the credit, of course, has to go to the following people who have also backed on Patreon, including Uwu Daddy, Asro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anchor, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordzoom, Ben Trope, Esmus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Sidini, Chris, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, and Connie Tumor 7, Emerald Beam, Exploding Knees, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Grey, Haji Demar, Icarus, Icy the Great, Ida C, Jay Lera, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, James Shea, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yohan DeVries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mark Priestley, Mustolp, Monty, Mostly Sampson, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lemberg, Nick Nostrus, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Rosh Nelgaard, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Shari, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Sumanani 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Balonkri, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Will Sinisef, Wolfie, Yorkus, Zach, Zico 2. Thank you guys all for your support. See you all tomorrow for what will be the stupidest man in the world forming Kingdom of Greece.